Hello everyone, this is Luke from the Stronghold Podcast and from Stronghold MMA. I'm here with Sean and I have four back attacks that you can do, two in gi, two in no gi, all from the exact same setup. So you can drill all of them depending on the reaction that your partner gives you. Thank you. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have you lay down with your head facing that way. So, I've said this repeatedly, right? This is, there's many different kinds of side control. Some versions are more dominant than others, right? If Sean has both of his frames on his stomach, this is a stronger version of side control for him, right? And I can clear one or both of his frames and the position will become more dominant for me. For example, I can use my knee to clear his bottom frame, right? Now this arm is isolated and there's attacks that I can do on this arm, okay? So slightly more dominant for me. I could clear this frame with two ways, right? One is I could go underneath a bit and start checking arm triangles or something like that. And the other one is I can clear it this way. So it's still off of his stomach, right? If I clear both of his frames, it's more dominant for me. All right? Now, the next one we're gonna do is the underhook side control. So my arm is underneath of his arm, okay? Typically, we're either gonna grab the back of the collar or we're gonna reach down and we're gonna grab the belt. Okay, it depends on what you can reach. No gi will grab the opposite side of the neck, okay? And then what we're looking to do here is start to circle toward his head, look toward his feet, drive his shoulder across to clear that arm, bring our head tight, and then work from our seatbelt here, okay? So there's gonna be four different chokes that we can do from this position. I'm gonna give you two in the gi, and then I'm gonna give you two in no gi, okay? But it's all gonna start from this seatbelt position, and it's gonna involve trapping this far arm in the straight jacket once we take the back, okay? So, when you're in here, make sure you have a strong seat belt and you have your head tight. Don't look around like this, right? I see it all the time. He can bring his arm up and then start to flatten his back, okay? So, we're here, keep your head tight, ear to ear, all right? Now, two options here, right? One, we take the control arm, the one that's underneath the armpit. We lift open the collar, we take our thumb in, Make a fist and then straighten your wrist. You must straighten your wrist. Look how it changes the posture. Okay, first one we're gonna attack is the uh, bow and arrow. I think it's the highest percentage choke in the gi. Okay, I open, I get my uh, forefinger grip, I straighten my wrist. Okay, now I'm gonna slide my knee up above his head. Knee slide, I'll show you the other angle in a second. Okay, he's gonna have his elbow tight to his knee. So I'm gonna use my arm to lift, pry open that space, and I step over and I lock my heel in tight to his hip. Okay, from here, we sit and grab the outside of the knee. Now, don't pull your partner over your leg. Okay, instead, sit your butt on the ground and then bring your head toward his knee. Throw your leg over the shoulder and then stretch away. It's all hips here. I straighten the collar, I pull the pants, and then the last bit is to extend my hips, okay, so it's, it's here, a bit of, it's a humping motion, right, here. I pull the pants, I straighten the tricep, and all the power comes from extending your hips, okay? So now I'll give you the, the ass shot, you all been waiting for, it. okay? <laughs> so, we're here, under hook, we're controlling, I open up the collar, all this stuff. Now, slide your knee high, almost above your partner's head. Okay, slide it high. Then, his butt and my butt are gonna have room to sit. Okay, I lift his elbow, I step all the way over. This is what I mean, don't pull him over top of your leg, see? Instead, I'm gonna sit, twist, and sit my butt on the ground. My ear goes toward his knee so I can throw my leg over the shoulder. Here, I straighten the collar, I pull the pants, and I extend my hips, here, for the bow and arrow choke. Okay, in my opinion, the highest percentage choke in the key. All right, now, uh, one more option here, real quick while we're filming, we'll do the Ezekiel, okay? Exact same setup, very easy. The only difference is, he's attacking my, he's defending the choking him really well, okay? Exactly the same setup, right? Under hook side control, we turn, we clear the arm, same position. Okay, but maybe he's got a grip on this hand, so I can't really get the grip on the collar. 
Okay, instead, we take the control arm deep. If we can, we'll actually grab it. Watch me turn my shoulder. Okay, it's like I'm throwing a punch with my left hand. Watch me turn my shoulder and it goes deep. Okay, so now it's like an arm triangle. I'm gonna take my palm, knuckle deep into my gi. Okay, knuckle deep, not fingers. When you try to do it and you twist, it's gonna mess your fingers up. Okay, so you really wanna go knuckle deep in there. Okay, make a fist, then I'm gonna make a long fist here, like that. Some people punch, some people do this one. I like this one. In here, it's good for me. There you Okay, so I'm in here nice and deep. Knuckle deep in the sleeve, long fist. I bring it back, I'm just gonna place it under his ear. You don't need to try to force it here, just put it into position. I'm gonna use my legs to get the final position, okay? I slide my knee up above his head, or near his head. I step all the way over. If he's blocking his knee and his elbow, I'm gonna to try to lift here. I step, I sit and I twist, same setup as before. My leg goes over the shoulder. Now I have the power of my legs. I extend away, I scissor with my hands. It takes very little pressure to finish that. Okay, one more. Okay, the ass view. One more time. Okay. Okay, same position with the legs, right? Use your hand to pull the control arm deep. Knuckles go in, long fist, get it into position first, okay? I slide my knee up high above the head. <clears throat> I step over, I sit, I twist, I trap the arm. Now from here, it's a scissoring motion with my hands and then an extension with my legs, right? So from here, we scissor and then I use my hips to extend away for the Ezekiel choke, okay? So bow and arrow choke and Ezekiel choke. Good? Ready, one, two, three. Okay, thank you guys. Now, he's probably gonna have his elbow close to his knee. Okay, so lift him up here to create space. Now step over. Lock your foot to his hip. Good. Now you're gonna uh, grab the pants and grab the key. Okay, so first open up and get the propeller. Yep. So use this hand. Use this hand to open it. And if it's too tight, you can pull it up. Pull that with a fist. Yes. Now, sit up and grab outside the knee. Yeah, no, no, don't fall over your leg. See how you fall over your leg? Okay. And then you, you want to sit your butt down and you want to bring your head toward his knee. Okay? Yeah, pull him with you. Pull him with you. Now, throw your leg over your shoulder. Now, gently here. Okay, gently here. Extend the way. And pull the pants. Pull the, pull the collar. Extend. And then pull the pants. And hips forward. Humping motion. Okay, so your grip is a little too shallow here. And you want to go a little. And that you make the fist now, straighten the wrist, try to do this. 100%. So the key here, partner, right? So you got, when you choke, you got three different pressure points, right? You've got two carotid arteries on each side of your neck, and you got the okay. When you're doing a blood choke, which is what this is, you want the forearm bone and your wrist to go past the carotid artery in the side of the neck. If my hand is at your windpipe, the choke's not going to be deep enough. I want my wrist to go past the carotid artery. That is gonna be a deep choke, right? If your hand is down there, when you stretch, see all that space? So open it up, take your thumb, go past the artery on the side of the neck with your forearm bone straight. Then when you pull and you stretch, it takes very little energy to finish that choke. Okay, so you, you wanna know, say again? Why would you not you, since you're already through, why would you not finish it? So you can finish it here, right? But the reason you wanna to get to the legs through is because then you can use the power of your legs. Okay. Right, strong people can finish it. You can totally get it from there, but it's a total upper body submission. Right, so if it's a really strong, if you manage to get the grip under there, you can finish it without your legs. But we want to do little person jujitsu, right? Okay. When you can extend your hips in, it's going to break through there. So go ahead and get the position here. So, hey, uh, go ahead and block, block it for me. No, no, block away from it, right? So once he starts fighting here, it might be difficult to get that hand in, right? But now, step over for me and keep blocking that. Once you roll back, go ahead, and you can start to stay there, get your legs involved. Even if he's blocking, the power of your hips will choke him through that, and you'll get the grip through under his ear. So it'll be on the choke, right? 
So we're actually being trained. Because when they defend, they get the shoulder down, they get the hand in, it can be difficult. But once you can extend your legs, you can choke through it. Okay. So it's a small person who can use it, right? You'll be able to use it on the people, and the girls can use it on the guys. Cool. Thank you.